Hello guys, Gabriel here and welcome back to Dust and Vision Tale. So, as you just saw, I just got freaking attacked by monsters right when I came back into the game. I was not prepared for this, I just opened the game and I saw the monsters just coming upon me. So yeah, so sometimes you can have a violent start in your game. So let's eat that pretzel and go back into the assault, I guess. Into the fight, I don't know. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, so I came back into that save point in order to save before we fight the boss, and the enemies respawned. Which isn't so fun, I don't like when enemies respawn into games like that. Okay, Fidget is silenced, that is not good. Alright, save again, get the stuff, get the fruits, just in case, and let's continue on. Alright! So I'm quite excited! We're going to fight our first real boss! I will be laughing if that isn't actually a boss. Let's hope it is. I'm hoping for a boss now. I'm much sweated. We will pull through. Alright, let's get some food and heal before we get too much into our confidence. Alright, pull out the fruit. Blow up some enemies. Up the random stuff and continue on. God, freaking respawning enemies. Well, I guess it's great for XP, but otherwise, it's pretty annoying. Or at least I can enjoy this awesome music longer. But seriously, this music, I can't say it enough. It's goddamn amazing. I don't care what you guys think, this music is amazing. Uh oh, this probably isn't good. How do I get up there? Okay. Then I need to destroy this? No. What? How does this work? How does the game work? It's basically my question right now. Uh, do I need to? Oh, okay, yeah, I need to continue up here. Alright, this time, do not get killed in a stupid way. There we go. That is how you do it. Right. Get everything. All the monies, all the items. All those sweet items. Oh god. Careful. I wonder what is the maximum level in this game, actually. This might be interesting to know. Alright, attack! Oh god, I feel that. Eat, 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 eat! Oof. I managed to parry at the same time of eating, which is great. Eat and parry at the same time. Alright, kill this one. There we go, random blueprint. Eat, and get into it. Not sure if we're going to succeed with that much health though. be fine. We can do this. Okay, well, there's a safe point. Then Ham Village. Alright, shop. I will need that. Ah, hello again, my Alright, let's get that. We don't need to hear what he has to say. He's just a shop. He's just a shop guy. We don't need his opinion. <laughs> Your transaction okay. is most appreciated. That is a bit cruel. Thank I mean, you. he's a good guy. We have to be honest here. He's a good guy. So, alright. Alright, heal, and I guess this will be enough. No, let's take more, just to be sure. Okay, this is probably the leader's place. Uh, I really don't like the look of this. We've made it this far, Fidget. Stay close to me and you'll be fine. What do you see, Yara? Anything? Another enemy stands before you. But this one... Is tough. What is it, Aura? Such hatred. Be careful, Dust. Hatred doesn't mean anything good. Oh god. 
They killed the freaking bunnies. Oh wait, no, those are not bunnies. Those are just anthropomorphic animals. Uh, right. Just the fact that there's no happy music means pretty much death <laughs> in this game. Uh, right. Uh oh. So, you've come. General Grievous. <laughs> what? what have you done? You murdered all these innocent people. Well, freaking Star Wars crossover. You dare speak to me of innocence when you have so casually slain a countless number of my children. Your children? You're talking about those monsters back there? Who are you? So, you don't remember my name? Rest assured, my friend. This time, you will not so easily forget it. Oh boy, that ain't good. I don't care what your name is. You're no different than those monsters I fought before. And like them, you will fall to my blade. You are the only monster here, puppet. As I turn your bones to char, your final thought will be that Fuse was victorious. Now die! That's good voice acting, by the way. <laughs> I just want to point that out. Okay. Oh God. Okay. Careful. All right. Be careful with him, though. He. I'm pretty sure he can easily arm me, so I'm going to stand back. Stand away. Yes. Oh God. Yeah. Damn. Those are really, really awesome powers, though. Oh God. Oh God. Get away. Eat. Eat a pretzel. Uh oh. All right. I think I need to use the dust storm more because that is useful. Oh god, I got killed! Damn! He's good! <laughs> he is good! Alright, let's try again. Difficulty tough. Really? Did I not change that to normal? Um, Alright. Let's change it to normal. Uh, just to make sure. Normal. Done. Alright. This will probably help. I am here to serve. Alright, let's see. Um Alright. Just checking if I can buy anything better. Well, only pretzels also good enough. Alright, let's see if I can sell items in order to get more of these health. Uh right. Maybe I can sell bricks or glue or Wow, we have a ton of stuff. Alright. Giant core. No, I think this is gonna be useful. I want to keep that. Well, we'll sell the bricks. They are pretty normal. They're easy to find. Not nails, why not? Alright, fabric. Alright. And now. Your trend. Oh, wait, no, I want to buy more. No, I want to buy. Leave me to buy stuff. Alright, double you. That's it. Alright. Alright, two more pretzels. And that will be good. Alright. Your transaction. Thank you. Alright, let's quick save again. And let's go. One more try. Skip again. Alright, we have to skip three dialogues. Alright, let's go! Alright, 
Oh yeah, hey! Hey, wait a sec! The dust storm actually paralyzes him! Look at that! Oh wait. Wait a sec, I need to eat! I need to eat some pretzels! I think we need to arm him quickly. I think this is the point of the battle. Yeah, I think that's it! I think that's the point! That's the way to kill him! Alright, continue! Attack! And, yeah, he died! Oh god! Alright, that was the way to kill him. First time that we've heard about that. <laughs> Dust is, <laughs> Fidget is just confused. Did it. He knew who I was, Fidget. He'd seen me before. If only he'd lived a moment longer. If only I'd managed to keep him alive somehow. As you can see by the dead littering this village, that would not have been a good idea. I'm sure you're right. We should return to Aurora and report to Mayor Bram. There was also that name, Gaius. Interesting. Alright, I'm looking forward to see what, what will uh, happen in the future, and we got a new skill. Let's see. Dust, during the battle, I was studying Fuse's attacks. I think I might have picked up on his technique. Oh! I've got a feeling we'll need it. Those monsters likely won't let us leave without a fight. Fidget has hired a new... Hired? <laughs> Fidget is hiring product projectile types. Yes, alright. Let's go here. Uh, let's see. I don't remember where they told me to change it. Uh, yes, I wish to do that. Oh god, no! <laughs> I don't know anymore. Okay, um, Fidget, can you tell me how to change? I should read before continuing. <sighs> alright, inventory. Oh yes, I can make that blueprint! Can I make it right now? 250... Oh, damn it, I don't have enough money! That would be great if I could make it! Alright, let's wait until I have more money 
and I'm going to definitely use that because that is going to boost up my sword quite a bit. Nice. Armor, can I make anything better than that? Apparently, yes, but I need to have more materials. Like. So, is this the place where I can upgrade her? No. Report back to the mayor. Well, screw it, I'm going to have a look at it later while I'm not recording or something like that. That's a shame, I wanted to use her skill. What's the problem? Well, you did say they were his children. Children or not, they don't look all that happy to see us. Hey, ugly! Are you gonna play nice? There's just no please in some people. It was a valiant effort, Fidget. Valiant indeed. Alright. Right, a note. Quest updated. Let's see. Mosca has asked you to check in on a girl at the edge of... Oh! Then Ham lies in ruins. Uh-oh. What if you discovered a note from a girl named Sa Sarai that is addressed to Mosca? Return the note to him. Right. Let's go save here. Kill that monster. That child. <laughs> I guess we could call them child. Or children, whatever. What's all this? These flags are a warning. The area up ahead is among the most dangerous of places. The challenges and creatures within are unlike anything you've dealt with before. Death will come swiftly if you are not prepared. I think I've heard of these arenas. It's rumored they contain precious treasures. Hey, your memory's coming back. Just little bits here and there. Think we should go in? Oh, um, I certainly hope you save. <laughs> that is reassuring. Alright, let's not go in there. It seems a bit too much for us right now. We need to get a bit better. But, I might just go and visit that later. Meanwhile, fart to the north. Sir, the preparations are nearly complete. We found another of their camps, but... But it was deserted, of course. Keep up your search. They're going somewhere, and we need to know where that is. Of course, sir. If that's all... What of the rumors, Commander? Is there any truth to them at all? We... Are investigating, sir. But surely you don't believe. Commander, it is not your place to question what I believe. A moment of glory draws near, and I want results. As you wish, General. Where are you, my friend? Why are you hiding from me? Hmm. Interesting. Right. So, here we are, back. I just want to have a look at the full graphic here. Hmm, okay, interesting. Sometimes Frigid is there, but this time she's not. Alright, so let's go back into Aurora. And have a look. Alright, I just want to press that. Okay, nothing really relevant. Hello. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no. That could only be Denham Village. Uh, did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard. Wore strange armor, called himself Fuse. A lizard, you say? Hmm. A moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? 
Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for Moonblood sympathizers. General Gaius? Do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally, but tragedy tends to follow in their wake. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless, I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about Fuse, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck! So wait, is Gaius... Because, as I remember, well, I did not follow it too much, but I might be wrong on this. But, is Gaius with us? Because I think Fuse um, told that Gaius was the one that killed his family. But then, this guy is telling me that Gaius is with Fuse. So what's going on with that? Well, I may, I may be wrong. Maybe I'm just confusing things. Um, Alright. I think I need to... Yeah, I need to find some other guys in here. I need to find uh, Ginger, and I need to find the other guy uh, from the side quest. But first off, let's quick save here. And yeah, so I'm just going to find them quickly. Well, I'm going to find the guy from the side quest, and then we're going to end this episode, because if I speak to Ginger, the conversation may be a bit long, because we're going to talk about Fuse after all. Right, are you the guy from the quest? No, you're a girl. Never mind. <laughs> I don't get it. Why would anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That fuse guy burned down an entire village. Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius's hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. Mm. <clears throat> Alright. Oh, I'm guessing the general that we saw earlier is Gaius. Yeah, that's probably it. Alright. Ginger, I'm not going to speak to you right now. I need to speak to the guy. Oh. <laughs> well, the game doesn't want me to. Alright. So then, we're going to go and quick save and do that in the next episode. Hello, Ginger. I'm going to pass right in front of you two times and then speak to you. As if that isn't suspicious. Wow. Really, game? Now I can't escape. You need to speak to this girl. Alright then. <laughs> Let's do this. This may be an extended episode. Oh, you again. Mayor Bram said you'd left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Denim Village, Ginger, and slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, then, for releasing Fuse from his madness. Right before the end, he seemed lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked her village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius's soldiers. Oh God. Who are you, really? I don't know. That is not an answer. Hey, ease off. Just can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name. You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice, and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry. Fidget, please, calm down. 
She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius' soldiers. And that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that. Especially if they knew I was here. Okay, so... We were one of his soldiers then. This is interesting. I did not think this story would actually take that much of an interesting turn because it seems like both of the forces, uh, the forces that we are with and the forces that we are against, seems like they have a good and bad side, which I like. I like when both parties are grey and not like white and black. Just like pure good and pure evil. I like it when there is a mix and um, that they have all their own convictions and their own ideas of justice and stuff like that. I really like those kinds of stories. So, yeah. So, tell me about the war. Why is Gaia so obsessed with killing these Moonbloods? What do they do? Nothing. They exist. General Gaia sees them as an impurity. A kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many Moonbloods left outside of their homeland. And it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. Right. Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to dry up completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius' bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. Hmm. There must be something... Maybe related to General Garrus, but not a curse. Maybe they did something to the river, like block it? To kill the villagers? I don't know. That would be cruel, but if he's as cruel as they say, that re really wouldn't surprise me. Alright, where can I find him? The only him? way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius. Then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. Uh oh. That ain't good. Whoa! What was that? It came from the center of the village. Ah! What are these things? Monsters! Ginger, get down! Uh oh. <sighs> what is this? You've been poisoned? When you're poisoned, your life slowly drains down to nothing. If you don't take care of it soon, death is inevitable. I can probably just wait it out. Stop pretending you're so tough! Here, take this mushroom. It'll stop the poison for now. You can thank me later. Alright, let's be really careful about that. I shouldn't probably attack them directly. <sighs> That's the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm... I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. Alright. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Roan Pass. At the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. Alright, good. Uh, let me heal. And... Oh god, I'm slowly dying. Let me pick up an item. There we go. That's healing the poison. Yep. Alright. Oof. That will be a tough enemy. Poison antidote. Alright. We'll have to restock on blue mushrooms because I think this will be useful in the future. Alright. Let's heal a bit more. So, yeah. Let's go first into the auto save because, yeah, we extended, extended this episode quite a bit. So, let's go and fix that. And also, buy some mushrooms before we leave. Welcome back. Just so I don't forget. Alright. 200. Well, Thank screw this. <laughs> Alright. 
So yeah, so, thank you all for watching this episode, I hope you enjoyed it. And in the next episode, we're going to find out what happened into the center of the village. So on that, thank you all for watching, and I'm gonna see you all next time.